Oh, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Another edition of the Chronicles of Eric coming at you. And on this uh, another cold day, just had a snowstorm. In fact, it's still snowing out right now. <clears throat> this morning was quite an adventure. Got up early, extra early, because I'm responsible. I'm not a mutant. I get it. Get up early, go out, clear the snow off the car, clear the snow off my wife's car, do the driveway, help out the neighbor's driveway, be a good neighbor. Got all that taken care of. Mind you, it's, you know, 5 a.m. I'm getting kind of sitting here pacing myself now before I go to work, but a little perturbed today. You know, a little perturbed. You you see these people that that decide that their time is more valuable than yours. Sure, right? Who am I? Went out to move my car after I cleaned it all off and and, and decided, you know, I'll take it around the neighborhood. You know, got behind a mutant with a capital M, mutant, that decided that their time was too valuable that they couldn't clean off their car. Now, mind you, we had about four to five inches of snow topped off with a nice firm layer of ice. So I'm behind this this inbred, this mutant, and what do they do? The top of the car slides off into my car. Now, luckily, I'm in a neighborhood, so it hits my hood and not my windshield. Um, Did leave some dents. But this mutant thought I'd be okay to keep going. So I followed it down the road, got to a point of the road where it's a two-lane road at a traffic light, got out of my car, took a brush. I know they still invent these. These things are invented. I know it's, and I know it takes a lot to understand that these things exist, but I had a brush, snow brush that we use in New England, and I went out and quickly Got the sides of his car because now the top was already on my hood. So that's all taken care of for that mutant, that inbred that doesn't care. But I got the sides of the window. Mind you, the front windshield, there was a little tiny, probably about that much, the size of your iPhone that you're watching this on, that that, that, that was that was visible. So I did this mutant a, a favor, and I dusted off the car. While the light was red, I'm watching the light. I'm, I'm going to town on a thing, and I was like a pit crew master. Guy rolls down his window, and I said, hey, you're welcome. Next time, take the time, get up earlier, clean off your car. I said, I just don't want you to kill anyone. Don't want you to get hurt or a ticket. I'm saving you money. And this mutant was, was thankful and, and apologetic. It's a man. It, it was a man, by the way, driving a Prius. I'll leave that for another rant. Got back in my car, made a U-turn, a legal, a legal U-turn. Went back home. Now I'm resting here before I go to work. But just made me realize that these mutants need to take the time to stop thinking about just themselves and about everyone else. Take the time. Listen, the point of this video, Chronicles of Eve, you get nothing out of this again. It's take the time. If you know it's going to snow overnight, get up early, go outside, take the time to properly dust off your car Vehicle, bike, scooter, skateboard, whatever. And then be on your way. You'll save a life. You won't get a ticket. And you won't annoy someone like me. It's, it's just the fact of the matter. But don't be lazy. Don't be a mutant. Don't be an idiot. An inbred. Clean off your damn car. That's all. That's simple. Straightforward. Clean off your car. That's it. Don't be that mutant. Don't be that guy who does not clean off the car it's quite irritating to be honest anyways another edition of chronicles of air coming at you if you like it please like share comment if you don't like it like share comment and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel it will get better this is not the end of the program by far and we'll talk to you and everyone later peace out